mm -hmm. is sent out text messages to about 25 contacts in her phone. She noticed her phone doing weird things, so she powered it down, and they powered it back on. And they were we we started getting phone calls too, restricted mm. phone calls. Get the f out. We will kill people at Curtis when you least expect. All your stupid f friends. And Curtis is the school. Yeah, we were sitting in our living room, and my husband had, was on his cell phone, and so the camera phone would have been facing the couch right. that I was sitting at with my two young children. My son was eating top ramen covered in a blanket. The noodles. Yeah. yeah. And um, they described the blanket my son was covered in. They... But using your phone's tracking device, authorities can now activate the microphone inside the dreaded thing, allowing them to eavesdrop on you and your conversations. Serious business, and the FBI used this form of surveillance to keep tabs on critical conversations. Both Apple and Google do tell you they collect location data when you use GPS, mapping, or other applications on your phones and droids. We have to make sure that this information is made secure. But for all the worry about privacy, to go completely off the grid these days would mean no cell phone, no internet, no Facebook, no credit cards, no flights, no tolls, no car. Still, it might be nice to tell companies some information is none of your business. Button, and it brings up their screen. The school's assistant principal spends part of each day remotely monitoring what the kids are doing on their laptops. Uh, we have a photo booth. He can see them, but they can't see him. These kids are goofing off, taking pictures of themselves in class. So wait, do all the kids have the cameras on? Six and seven pretty have cameras. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know whether you will be a justice who believes that the constitutional journey must continue to speak to these consequential decisions, or that we've gone far enough in protecting against government intrusion into our autonomy, into the most personal decisions we make. These are called electromyographic signals. The signals are picked up by electrodes planted on the skin. Uh, the electrodes basically look like this. They're tiny little pads, much like you have in a doctor's office. So if she said the future out loud, the future, we have the signal that's corresponding to that muscular activity. But with subvocal speech, she doesn't have to move her mouth. She could say that word silently. So she would say the future silently. Here she said the future, but she didn't move her lips. And you can see that there is still the same signal being picked up by the electrodes underneath her throat. Once the electrodes capture the signal, they can be transmitted, as if through a cell phone, to someone with an earpiece receiver. So the newer sensors are the size of a dime, and they're going to continue to get smaller, and they're not very distant. He's got a thing about annoying people with sound. Hey, you. Ma'am. Ma'am. Please wake up. No sleeping in the library. <laughs> now this... This is a speaker system. The whole idea of his sound spotlight system is to make sure that only one person can hear him, even though they're 20 meters away. Hey, you there. You on the laptop. Are you downloading illegal files to the library network? I hope not. Hey, you there. Studying. Miss, can you hear me? I think it's time for a break. Hey, you. Looking at CDs. We're watching. <laughs> Taking the mickey out of innocent readers might seem a bit childish, but there's a reason why Dr. Pompey comes here to test his kit. A library is about the most sensitive area you can think of for background noise and generating sound that people don't want to hear. So, as you sit watching TV, not only are there visible light waves from the TV striking your eyes, but also radio waves transmitting from a nearby station, and microwaves carrying cell phone calls and text messages, and waves from your neighbor's Wi-Fi, and GPS units in the cars driving by. There is a chaos of waves from all across the spectrum passing through your room right now. With all these waves around you, how can you possibly watch your TV show? 
Similar to tuning a radio to a specific radio station, our eyes are tuned to a specific region of the EM spectrum and can detect energy with wavelengths from 400 to 700 nanometers, the visible light region of the spectrum. Objects appear to have color because EM waves interact with their molecules. Some wavelengths in the visible spectrum are reflected and other wavelengths are absorbed. This leaf looks green because EM waves interact with the chlorophyll molecules. Waves between 492 and 577 nanometers in length are reflected and our eye interprets this as the leaf being green.